Okay, so abstraction. Uh, this is basically where you pick out important bits of information from whatever the problem is you're doing and you ignore the things that don't matter. So I think the best way to explain this is to go through some examples. So if we think of a car, okay, as a driver of a car, you ignore how everything inside the car works. What you're interested in are basically the pedals, the gear stick, and the steering wheel. If you were like an engineer, you then, the car, the engine, and how everything works becomes part of your problem. All right, but then you might ignore how the individual parts works. They're made by car part designers. So it's all about whatever the problem is that's in front of you, it's about only focusing on what is important to you. So if we take another example, it's quite a nice visual one, of the London Underground map. If you resize this map to be the size of London and you laid it over the top of London, it doesn't actually match. Okay, it's because, if we take here, Bounds Green is, oh, sorry, Bounds Green is probably not directly north of Wood Green. Um, Black Horse Road is probably not directly east of Tottenham Hale. It doesn't match up. They, they might be roughly in general directions, but it's because the directions you're traveling in on the underground isn't actually that important. What is important is that you know which line to get on and whether to go left or right on that line, heading towards different stations to get to all these locations. London Underground Map is an amazingly complex problem simplified to quite a nice solution that people use every day, but they used abstraction to do it. So abstraction is the omitting of unnecessary detail. So if you imagine we had here our problem that's got, I don't know, six different blocks in of things, and we need to work out what we need to ignore. We can we could argue the bits in red, then probably not that important. They're not actually part of my problem. Okay, whether two stations are north or south doesn't actually affect whether somebody can use the underground. And then you go, you might be able to omit something else. And if, if, the idea is abstraction. You're looking at all the details and then you're working out what you need to focus on, what you can ignore. So some other a few examples just to end with. So because it's in all, all walks of life, it's just very, very useful skill when you're thinking about programming. Um, so imagine you're sitting down with your family to watch a film at night. So you could use decomposition, which is something we've talked about before, which is this idea of breaking the problem down into smaller chunks. So decomposition, instead of just thinking about, I want to watch a film, you could think about something, you could decompose that problem further. So you could think of what types of films are on. Or you could think of what times the films are on. Or what were the reviews like? They're all different sub-problems of which film we want to watch. And then we could think of abstraction. So within a problem, what are the details I need to ignore and what should I focus on? So for example, if I'm looking at what type of films are on, plot details, actors and directors, I could ignore. But I might want to focus on the genre, sorry, the genre and the age rating. What times the films are on? Days other than the date you are going for, that's to be ignored. The start and end times on the day you are going, that is important. And finally, with the reviews, the in-depth analysis of the characters and plot is details you can ignore. The ratings is something you might want to focus on. These are all examples of abstraction. You can hopefully start to see how decomposition and abstraction work together.